hello all! Welcome back to my second guide that I'll be doing for Dossless Holiday and it will be for DEX4 Challenge Mode. So for this Challenge Mode, the condition is that we're gonna have 4 times cost, quadruple, of all defenders. So let's say your defender costs 15, he now costs 60 to deploy. So that's gonna be really painful. But first, let us look at the stickers. Right, the stickers are gonna be the same as the regular mode. We're gonna have the extra 200 defense for the defender guards, then guards as well as the specialists. The caster, sniper, supporter, and medic also get 200 extra attack. And we'll get the corrosion recovery for every class. So basically, we take the fluid sealant as well as the resistant paint pro, as well as the four additional DP at the start of the map so that we can get that quick start right it's the same core as the original clear and with an ifrit s2 as the main core six star but the execution is going to be slightly different from the regular one because of the cost precisely because of the cost of the defender going up however we're still going to use the same defender if we can help it. Right, so next one is to start with the map. We're gonna have the two vanguards starting yet again. The same concept. Use vanilla skill as he's able to activate it and then we're gonna put Ifrit down at the same spot again as regular mode. Now for this, you don't have to worry about how many folks you put. Right, it's not gonna count. However, just to save the DP, Let's try not to put as many. So Stewart are gonna be at the same spot. Ansel will be at the same spot as well. As my previous guide. Midnight will also be in the same spot. The float will be put down next to Stewart once again. And we're gonna wait to be able to put Popka down because she can block too and she is very tanky with the sticker bonuses. Right, so the same thing, use gravel to split blocks the enemy in the early stages. So that if we can finish him off. Now they do have a little bit more extra in terms of their stats on CM as usual. It's hidden that bonuses that most people are not fully aware of. But you might notice that they're a little tougher to kill. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use gravel to stick block again on the guy on the other side. And if it was basically just take care of the rest alongside midnight and steward. Mm -hmm. Alright, for the first unmanned explosion bolt, we're gonna use Midnight's range as well as Melanta to kill the bolt. And then we take out Melanta. Put bloom for the second one on the bottom lane. And use Beagle skill just as the bolt is about to come in. And as it crashes into her, collision damage is done, but her increased defense means she doesn't really take much of a punish. And we're gonna use Midnight in combination with Gravel to be able to finish this particular unmanned explosive bolt off. Now here's where the approach is slightly different towards the end. Like for the most part it's been the same. But here's where it's gonna be a little bit more different. Alright, so you actually see the two unmanned bolts coming in. We're gonna use Spot to block the bottom lane. We're gonna use Melanta to kill the top one. And Fang will face tank the one all the way at top. Again, we, this time we use Gravel instead of the Lantern in the original guide for the regular player to be able to split box this man. And hopefully, she will be able to stall him long enough to, for Ifrit to finish him off. There we have it, this, that's cleared already. And it's now time for Gloom to help out with the remaining mobs as well as Ifrit to finish off the guy in the water. And there, an easy to execute and mostly hands free <laughs> one core, if it core, DHEX4 challenge mode clear. So I hope this guide has greatly helped you guys. I hope to make more for you guys in the future. See you guys soon.